And today's earthquake is a wake up call for perhaps what we should say a shake up mm. call on when a larger and more damaging earthquake could strike. That's right. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes live at Caltech in Pasadena where the experts are weighing in whether the big one is long overdue in Southern California. We've been hearing that for a long time, Rob. Yeah, you know, these magnitude four earthquakes are starting to add up. It's been 35 years since we've seen this many quakes by this time of the year. Little cars getting a big shake today. When this morning's quake hit, countless phones rang out, shake alert springing into action. We've had it now for, for a few years, but we're kind of getting a few of these alerts now, uh, so people are getting used to it. Caltech seismologist Dr. Alan Husker addressing today's 4.7 magnitude quake, relatively small and one of 14 in Southern California so far this year, the most since 1988. Earthquake. But while many people believe smaller quakes tend to reduce the odds of a big one, Husker says it doesn't quite work that way. There's no way, unfortunately, to alleviate the big one. Uh, really, the big ones are so much bigger that uh, you would need uh, hundreds or thousands of these small ones really to equate kind of like that big one, and we just don't, there's not enough. In fact, the preponderance of smaller quakes may do just the opposite. Husker says seismic modeling shows Southern California is overdue for the big one, and smaller quakes tend to point toward bigger ones. Each earthquake slightly increases the chance of a future earthquake that's about the same magnitude or larger. Preparation, of course, should always be your plan for when a major earthquake hits. In the meantime, realize that down the line, Southern California won't be that Southern anymore. LA in two million years will be next to uh, San Francisco, uh, the way it's actually moving. So it's, uh, that's the way things are going. <laughs> Now, because the quake was relatively small, seismologists say they can't tell exactly what fault line it happened on because there are two in that immediate area. Reporting live in Pasadena, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.